How's it going everybody? George here from RMS Laser. Just wanted to give you guys a little update on the face shield situation we got going on. So I've already showed you guys this one before, but we've added a little foam piece on the front that rests on your forehead to make it a lot more comfortable to wear. Along with that, this is the one design right now that we have um, going around internationally. We have it sent out to a bunch of companies in like Indonesia, Colombia, Australia, Peru, just to name a few. And we're able to make about 2,000 more of these with the material that we have right now. So if you want to order one, hit us up. We can get you guys some of these. But as long, uh, along with ordering them, we can provide you the files and, and how to create these on your own if you have that capability. Um, just want to give a little example of some of the benefits that these have. They may not have filters in them, but they do have really useful benefits, such as I'm going to use this vape as an example for just naturally breathing. So you go, like when you breathe, your breath is going all over the place. And if you're asymptomatic or anything like that, you could be spreading the virus unknowingly, and this could help stop the amount or the exposure that you're giving to other people. So when you're wearing this, it's gonna stop your breath from going everywhere, along with you touching your face, if you're coughing, if you're sneezing, it's gonna help suppress that a lot. So that's this design. And uh, if you, again, if you guys need it, just let us know. We can get you the design or we can make some for you. It's, uh, it's all up to you. So along with this face shield, we've been working on some other designs to work with hats. Now, they don't work with every single type of hat, such as if you have a bent brim like this, it's not gonna work because there's a couple slits in the uh, material that we want the brim to fit into and the bent ones just don't work. Along with that, if you have a fitted hat, it's not particularly gonna work either because we need the rubber bands to go on somewhere probably not going to want to put a hole in your hat. But if you have a hat with a flat brim and one of these guys, then this is super plausible for you. So here we go. I have a little face shield right here. Let me go ahead and show you guys how easy it is to put them together. So there's some holes on the sides. All I'm going to do is put the rubber band in the hole, pull it through, and then pull the rubber band through the rubber band. Pull it nice and tight. Do the same thing on the other side. Through the hole, through the rubber band. Pull it nice and tight. All right, so now you're gonna take their hat, undo this, stick one side through here, take the other side, and stick it through here. then reconnect it. Now this can be used for anyone going outside. Boom, the brim fits right in the slots. You've got a nice little protective shield that works with most of the hats that are out there. It'll do the same thing, stop you from, stop you from touching your face, stop you from breathing on other people, getting breathed on yourself, stuff like that. So again, we can make these for you guys, or we can provide you with the design so you can make them on your own. So if that's something you guys are interested, just hit us up. We'll have all the information in the description. And uh, stay safe, everyone, and have a good day. Hey, guys, just before we go real quick, I noticed that there were some indents on the sides of the uh, hat. That's just because I'm using a brand new rubber band right now. So if you use one that's not as tight as this, that will not happen, or the, if you stretch it out a little bit before you use it, these indents will go away and the hat will look a lot more. It'll look a lot better on you while you're wearing it with the face shield. So just want to throw that out there. Have a good one, everybody, and uh, stay safe.